Welcome to a Factorio Mod Spotlight, or actually it's not really a Mod Spotlight, it's more of a technology spotlight, as the solution I'm going to present to you is including a number of applications that uh, are necessary to make the whole thing work outside of Factorio. So what I want to show is a real-time dashboard of production and all sorts of other stats coming out of Factorio and for your viewing pleasure. This video will cover what is the dashboard, what kind of data can we currently display, what technology is used, and how can you get it. Let's take a look at the dashboard to see what it is, because what we are seeing here is the Factorio game. This is my Brave New World series over on Twitch. And if we look at what the dashboard is looking like for production setup here, this is what it looks like. So what you're seeing here is that we are seeing some stats. This is what you can see. This is what you can see on the, on the website with the dashboard is available. So this is available anytime I'm playing the game. Before we dive into the technical sides of things, uh, I want to give a shout out to the people who have been part of creating this solution. First is Apex, the creator of the mod called Graftorio. This is a 16.17 mod that hasn't really gained a lot of popularity, unfortunately, because it's really awesome. And then uh, Timbo, who has taken this mod and expanded it uh, to our current need, set it up and made it work on our server, the one that I'm using to play my uh, Twitch series on. And then Vichu for making all of the dashboards to make uh, visualize all the data we are collecting from the game. So uh, those three people have really come together to make this a reality and I'm just the one playing the game and showcasing it to you. So what is this dashboard? Well, it displays data in real time from inside the game. What you're seeing here is, is actually updated every 30 seconds and this uh, gives you information. What you can see in information here is you can see the signs per minute and the color coding is based on, as far as I recall, it is looking at the production stats for the last four hours. And if it's more than 70% of that, it turns green. If it's between 40 and 70%, it turns yellow. And if it's less than 40%, then it turns red. What we can see here is, for example, red circuits we first have here, the science, the circuits, the materials, raw materials, and the components. So here we have red and this means that you as a viewer can watch this at any given time and you can give the feedback and tell me, hey, why is the red not working? And I can go in here and take a look at the red circuits and figure out, it's really not red circuits, this is red circuits. So the red, reason why the red circuits are not working is because there's simply no demand right now. This gives you as a viewer a much closer method of inspecting the base and seeing what's going on. And this is especially useful as I'm building currently of a mega base. Now this space we're looking at is my Twitch Let's Play. I'm streaming it over at Twitch TV slash Nilaus, link in the description below. I'm streaming it Tuesday, Thursdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. Central European time. And you're more than welcome to drop by and say hi and test out the new dashboard. The dashboard is available on the URL stats.nilaus.tv. And unfortunately, if you go in and take a look at it at any given time, it won't show anything because it only works when I'm live. Hence, there's a reason to jump, join when I am live. So let's take a look at what kind of data is available on the dashboard, because it's pretty cool, the stuff that is already available, and this has only been live for <laughs> a couple of days, basically. We have up here, we have a method of selecting the different things. We start with the info dashboard that basically says the version of Factorio, the evolution, uh, some more stats about the mods being available, the number of players, that sounds like me, right? Rockets, number of rocket powers, and the total number of rocket launched, some kill stats, basically some stats that we are here that isn't really fitting anything else. So both some technical stats, but also some in-game kill stats. Next one I want to show is the production stats. This one we already take, took a look at. And this is basically all the production. It gives you a clear idea about where potentially there could be issues in the base. But maybe more interesting is to look at the consumption stats. Also have that, and then we can see here, for example, the red circuits are being consumed at a 10 carry per minute, but the production only starts when a new train is being dispatched. And you can also sort of say a balance between the two, which will give us sort of an indication of how we currently, for example, on the red circuits, we have a huge deficit on red circuits where we are consuming way more than we're producing because right now the production facility is in an idle state. Also look at the different Metrics here, they should be small numbers like this, which means that the production we have here is pretty much matching the consumption. Production consumption is matching. While in this case, we have 
huge stockpiles that are being consumed and the production isn't really picking up until the backlog is starting to be worked out. Similarly here, we can basically see if one of these things spike, for example, low density structures, we're clearly having issues in the base with low density structure. So you can glean a lot of data from this as a viewer without uh, having me as the streamer go and, uh, and, and open these stats. So this will give the viewer a much more much more knowledge than I have as a streamer and it allows you to be more engaged with uh, what I do and uh, what mistakes I do. These are the robot statistics. Basically at this point we are having all of the construction bots and all the logistics bots idle, which is great. And you can also see some metrics on how many bots are ready to charge, how much bots are charging, which is a pretty good method of met metric when I do some kind of silly uh, robot commands. Now, logistics network is also a way that you can see here what is being requested. Used up uranium fuel cells is being requested the most, not actually very much. And plastic bars is the highest thing. I have in storage 2.1 million, so maybe I should do something about that. But also uranium, and I bet fish is also somewhere. Raw fish, it's also on the list. Here we have the trains, and uh, basically this says how many trains I have in total, how many are traveling, how many waiting at signals, and how many waiting at stations. So this one will also start looking really weird if uh, when the base is fully operational, which it actually is right now, we don't really have a lot of trains moving around the base. We have a lot of, of idle state, idle uh, trains, which is great actually. We want to have mainly idle trains in, a, in our base. The fewer trains moving, the better, as long as we can maintain our signs per second, per minute. Now this is the last one, which is um, uh, the last dashboard we've created so far, the power consumption and production. Which is really interesting because that's something that's really hard normally to extract out of the game but uh, they managed to do it and we can also unfortunately there are no icons yet but we can kind of get a feeling for which ones are using the most here we have assemblers using 1.2 they're not actually sorted but this is a new dashboard so i'm sure that it will get uh, more improvements as we move further ahead now let's talk a bit about the technology that's being used to build this. Now this is uh, Factorio is running here on a server. I don't honestly know if it works when you run it locally or not, because I run it on a server. This is built on the, on the server. I also saw that if it was me running it locally, then I would have to manage it, which I am certainly not capable of. So having it on a server is something we have built it and designed it for. So if you want to run it locally, I don't know. Maybe you can run it locally on a server mode. I don't know. Uh, figure it out. The mod in, in question that is the key part of this is Graftorio. This is a modified version of it as I mentioned. This is the one that's used to export data out into a Prometheus data store. Now it is Im important to note that um, it doesn't actually take a large load on the server on the actual game to export this data which you might be a bit afraid of like this is a lot of data at least it seems like a lot of data but it actually isn't. Uh, and it only exports like every 30 seconds but it's um, it, it's of course going to take some kind of load and you need a yes prometheus data store to contain the data whether you can use something else i don't know but this is what we used and from here we use grafana to visualize the data and create these beautiful dashboards that you're seeing here you can also see at the top left hand corner the grafana icon uh, so all of what we're doing is all of it is open source technologies and uh, so there's nothing proprietary about any of this, uh, any of the software we're using for this solution. So maybe you're wondering, this is pretty cool. How do I get this? And the thing is, technically, you can uh, you can build it yourself. This is a modified version of uh, Graftorio. As I said, it's open source product. Right now, this is still in the early days of testing and adaptation and crashing because anything I touch seems to crash. So. It's, uh, it's not exactly a finished product that we can just release or make available, but there's definitely plans among the developers to make this easily accessible, eventually as open source and guides and you know, those kind of things. But for now it's built for fun and for my community. And by making it widely, widely available too early, we risk that the creators of this will end up in a situation where they will do endless technical support. So the very short answer is that Right now, it is not easily accessible, but there's nothing that prevents anyone else necessary technical skills from building something similar. It might come, but there is absolutely no promises on when and how and why and how that's gonna pan out. Uh, so there you have it. That means uh, for now, this is something that uh, you can see on my stream and 
let me just mention that again because I'm sure you want to check it out when I'm streaming next time. I'm streaming Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 8 p.m. Central European time. It's over at Twitch TV slash Nilaus and the link is in, in the description below. The stats are available at stats.nilaus.tv. So I hope that I will be seeing you guys either in stream or leave a comment below if you have something, some interesting quirks and comments. If you are asking technical questions, it's probably better to head on over to my Discord and ask them there. There's a chance that one of the developers of this solution will jump in on it because I don't have the technical expertise. I'm more of a manager and architect than the actual technical person who built it. So if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos of mods, technologies, let's plays, and of course, the masterclass tutorials. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay effective.